ever notice that your rim is taller than your eye joist? See that? It's about an eighth of an inch. Do you know the reason for that? The reason is so that the rim takes the gravity loads from above, not the joist. Eye joists are great, right? They're lightweight, good use of materials, but this web can literally tear in shear. And I'll show later, we have some racks that we make out of scrap eye joists. When we overload those, literally the webbing starts to deform and tear. Okay, this one does not show it as well as I thought it would, but even better, these do. Three quarter inch Advantech, we've got two units that are sitting on top of these. They are braced, but see, that's what we're talking about. The eye joist is not designed to take the heavy loads. That's why we use squash blocks or the structural rim that is a little taller than the joist. So notice how that's to beginning to buckle. We've actually had these where they tear like paper, where they don't just like completely tear, but you can see that it starts and that's called shear. It's a limitation, but not a big one. Not a big deal, at least. So here's how that works. Over there, that's a hand-cut roof. So from the halfway point, that exterior wall is carrying half of the roof load. And that gravity load is then transferred all the way down to the foundation. It does that through headers and through our rim. This is inch and a half Roseburg rigid rim. It's LVL. Sometimes we even have to reinforce with squash blocks. And when we do that, those squash blocks also need to be slightly taller. And that way the load from above comes through the blocks, not through the joist. We want the joist to carry the floor loads, but our gravity loads from above we want transferred through to the walls below. Now be honest, how many of you, by a show of invisible hands, would hold your floor joists up to the top of the rim because we're framers, it's supposed to be flush, right? <laughs> I can honestly say that it was only two or three years ago that I read what I had posted earlier in the video that nope, it is deliberately a little bit tall. And that's why you never stop learning. Okay, a couple things to go over on this floor system. One, doesn't it just look nice and clean? You notice there's quite a few rows of blocking. Why? Two reasons in this case. One reason is we need our eye joists to stay vertical in order to carry their loads. And so sometimes we block in between those over walls to keep them that way. The other reason is that the blocking nailed to the wall below and the floor sheathing nailed to the blocking from above, that helps the floor diaphragm to transfer through the shear walls, kind of like what you're seeing on that side of the stairway, the left-hand side. Once that floor sheathing nails to that LVL, that LVL, of course, is fastened to a shear wall. Well, that provides lateral restraint in the case of an earthquake. And we have quite a few shear walls down there on that one. You notice right there, for example, next to the stairs, well, first of all, the stairway wall sheathed, that wall on the bottom right is sheathed, it's a shear wall, so it's bolted to the concrete. Then of course, the blocking is nailed, floor diaphragm nailed to the blocks. In, in my mind, the way I think of this is we're taking a bunch of disparate components and we're just joining them to make them act like one. I know it's an overly simplified way of viewing it. There we have blocking on the bottom right, again, a bedroom wall, and then right there, a joist lands right on top of a sheathed wall. There's actually gonna be a wall on top of that goes all the way up to the roof. So the roof sheathing is connected to a wall that's connected to the floor, which is connected to, you know, and you get the point, all the way down. I don't know if you can tell, I kind of nerd out on this stuff. I have been reading the product info for many years, always learning something new. Engineered wood products, boy, there's a lot of advantages to them. Incidentally, that LVL on the left, we will put a four by six under it. That just allowed us to locate it when we did layout. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Could you do me a big favor? Can you let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this kind of content? 
I really enjoy making it, so please let me know if it's worthwhile to you. I hope that it is. I'll probably make it anyway, just because I enjoy it. Anyway, anyway thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We will see you in the next video.